Not too long ago, I was gifted uh, an amazing book, um, and uh, it's by Dave Clayton. And I started reading. It's about fasting. It's about prayer. I came along uh, this this quote, this expression, which was very powerful, and I want to share it with you. It reads such as, as this: Desire alone is never enough to experience transformation. So much, right? Let me say it again. Desire alone is never enough to experience transformation. So, and then I said, well, yeah, exactly, because this is why we have, for example, personal health trainers, right? It's because there is a desire, but your desire only is not enough for the trans transformation. Or how about army commanders, professors, and、uh, Pastors, mentors. It's because there is a there is just a hardcore reality to this expression that desire alone is never enough. It's not enough to experience transformation. So then we have all these roles to inspire us into action, where desire becomes action because we recognize sitting and just having all these desires. All of a sudden, is not going to become a transformation. So, if I have to put a bridge on how we're going to cross,、uh, kind of moving further from further from、uh, desire,、um, this is what I have in mind: a desire must become a decision. A decision must be acted upon determination. So then, the outcome is delight. Desire to decision to determination. So then, there is a delight. Keep this in mind as we go to the scriptures. Mark chapter ten, verses forty-six to fifty-two. If you remember last week, and if you have not, you should go back and watch. Last Friday, I shared a devotional with you, where a, a rich ruler、um, came to Christ. He decided that temporary was not the ultimate goal in life, but the eternal is. So this is another encounter that Jesus had with this person on the road as he came to Jericho. So let me read verses 46 and on. Now they came to Jericho, and as he went out to Jericho with his disciples, and a great multitude of people followed. In them was blind Bartimaeus, the son of Thimaeus, who was sitting by the road begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and said, "Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me." Then many warned him to be quiet, but he cried out all the more, "Son of David, have mercy on me!" So Jesus stood still, and he commanded him to be called. Then they called the blind man, saying. Hey, be of good cheer. Rise, for Jesus is calling you. And then him, just throwing aside his garment, he rose and he came to Jesus. And so Jesus answered and said to him, "What do you want me to do for you?" The blind man said, "Rabboni, that I may receive my sight." Then Jesus said to him, "Go your way, for your faith has made you well." And immediately he received his side. You know what he did? He followed Jesus on the road. I love it. There is a reality: a blind man. There is a desire. He wants to see. He wants to receive his side. So let's walk through the bridge. As he heard that that was Jesus passing by, this desire came into his heart. From his discomfort. A desire was born. I want to be healed. So if you're if you are like him, there is this when you hear Jesus and there is this desire coming to your heart. The next thing that should follow is from a desire now to a decision. It says he began to cry out, saying, "Jesus, I want to see. Have mercy on me." Will he hear me? I don't know. Will this work? I don't know. Can he do it? I don't know. But there is only one way to find out: when a decision, when a desire becomes a decision. So I tell you the same: cry out, 
do something, act on it, a desire should become a decision. Now, as soon as he decided, the next thing that happened was pretty negative. People told him to just go quiet. And that's when the word determination comes. When your desire has become a decision and you start seeing some pressure, some persecution on it, do not give up. But show your determination because as soon as he heard to be quiet, says he cried out all the more. This is the time to pray more, to trust more, to serve more, just to move more towards the desire, the decision, and showing now determination. What I love is in the previous story last week, I said Jesus looked up. Now it says Jesus stood still. I love it. A desire that becomes decision, a decision that shows determination will get Jesus' attention. How good is that? That he doesn't ignore it. He doesn't stop, goes by, but he will stand and look at you and speak miracles into your life. His determination made Jesus stop. And then the result is delight. He says, your faith has made you well. And what I like is that as soon as he received his sight, he didn't go away. It says he followed Jesus. He received and he followed. There is joy. There is this delight in our lives. Those who follow Jesus. It's uncomparable to anything else. But it all started with a desire. It must follow with a decision. You must show determination and then enjoy delight. So that's how you go from a desire to delight. God bless you.